Welcome to the second of our dinosaur dozens, the ornithopods, the bird-footed plant-eaters. Little Lesuthosaurus was one of the first ever ornithischian, or bird-hipped dinosaurs. It had a short, pointed snout with plant-eating teeth, and its small head, short arms, and long legs and tail suggest that it was a fast, agile runner. It lived in South Africa in the early Jurassic, 199 to 189 million years ago. Heterodontosaurus had unusual teeth. Most reptiles have only one kind of teeth in their jaws, but Heterodontosaurus had three. Small teeth in its beak for chopping off leaves, a large pair of tusks, and even cheek teeth that allowed it to chew its food. It lived in South Africa in the early Jurassic, 199 to 196 million years ago. Hypsilophodon was a relatively small, swift, plant-eating dinosaur. Scientists used to think it climbed trees to escape danger, but now we know that it evaded predators by running away very fast. It lived in England in the early Cretaceous, 130 to 125 million years ago. Tenontosaurus was a large herbivore with an unusually long, broad tail. It was probably a low browser, feeding on low-growing ferns and shrubs, and its powerful beak and cutting teeth meant that it could eat any part of a plant that it wanted. It lived in North America in the mid-Cretaceous, 115 to 108 million years ago. Procerolophus was a hadrosaur with an unusually large head. It had a small, stout, triangular crest in front of its eyes. Its upper arms were relatively short. It lived in North America in the late Cretaceous, 75 to 71 million years ago. Hadrosaurus is the official state dinosaur of New Jersey. It gives its name to a family of plant-eating dinosaurs with broad, duck-like bills and well over a thousand tiny teeth in their jaws. It lived in North America in the late Cretaceous, 79 million years ago. Lambiosaurus was a hadrosaur with a duck-like beak and a strange crest on top of its head, which consisted of a hatchet-like shape and a small spike behind. A giant hadrosaur nearly 50 feet, 15 meters long, was for a long time considered to be a species of Lambiosaurus. It too lived in North America in the late Cretaceous, 76 to 75 million years ago. Parasaurolophus was one of many hadrosaurs that sported a huge crest on its head. Its crest was a backward-pointing tube that was nearly 6 feet, 1.8 meters long. The creature may have used it like a horn to communicate with other members of its herd. Again, it lived in North America in the late Cretaceous, 76 to 73 million years ago. Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs ever discovered, and the second to be given a scientific name back in 1822 in England. It was a large herbivore that travelled in herds, and was armed with a large spike on its thumb that was probably used for defence. It lived in Europe in the early Cretaceous, 126 to 125 million years ago. Corythosaurus was a large hadrosaur. Its head boasted a huge semicircular bony crest that was filled with nasal passages. It probably used this crest to produce loud, low-pitched calls. Again, North America, late Cretaceous, 77 to 75 million years ago. Edmontosaurus was one of the largest of all the hadrosaurs. Unlike many of its relatives, it didn't have a crest, but it may have had inflatable air sacs on its nose that it could use to make loud bellowing noises. It lived in large herds all over the western part of North America. Once again, as I just mentioned, North America, late Cretaceous, 73 to 65 million years ago. And finally, Shantungosaurus is by far the biggest hadrosaur yet discovered, and indeed the biggest non-sauropod dinosaur. It may have weighed more than 10 tons. It had an unusually long tail, perhaps to counterbalance the great weight of its body. It lived in China in the late Cretaceous, 70 million years ago.